there is no obvious change in bowel structure, meaning irritable bowel syndrome, we don't find anything under microscope that is looking different than normal gut. With um, inflammatory bowel syndrome like Crohn or ulcerative colitis, we can find some functional changes uh, and morphological changes under microscope. With this, if you take a piece of the gut, there will be no changes. Um, it's a really nightmare for a physician, I can tell you from my perspective, because we don't know how to treat this problem. And when somebody comes in, sometimes you see that person on the schedule and you're thinking, oh, I really don't know what to do. And um, fortunately, functional medicine can offer some help with that. So it's not all in your head illness. So there is no uh, specific name for irritable bowel syndrome that calls spastic colon, spastic bowel, mucous colitis, functional bowel disease. Do you know of any other names? Wasn't it uh, lactose deficiency? Lactose deficiency, food, unspecified food sensitivity. So anything that is not, um, uh, that we can find a cause for, it kind of goes under that um, name. Um, the symptoms often present with abdominal pain, spasm, bloating, gas, abnormal bowel movements, and a lot of women with chronic pelvic pain um, can be um, um, considered to be patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Now there are a couple um, symptoms that um, as every physician kind of aware of not um, paying more attention to, like uh, bleeding or fever. Those are usually symptoms of that something else is going on, like a cancer or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Those are not usually the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. So there are some uh, causes for irritable bowel syndrome include food sensitivity, stress, lactose intolerance, and infection, malabsorption, and the gut hormonal imbalance. And the bowel is going to be over or underactive uh, to those stimuli. So second principle of Leonardo is uh, testing knowledge through experience. Don't take a formed opinion. Test everything for yourself. Um, functional medicine is the emerging field of medicine that bridges conventional medicine with non-conventional. So um, the conventional medicine is really good at looking into causes for disease, then we find the symptom, we connect that with the diagnosis, and then we give the pill. So functional medicine, looking at everything as a whole, we're looking at immune surveillance, inflammatory process, what kind of immune deficiency person have. Maybe there is oxidative stress in the body. Maybe there is some uh, toxification in the body. Maybe there is some hormonal imbalance. Very important psychological uh, balance. Maybe there is some structural problems. And you can see that digestive and absorption is also the part of the circle. And um, based on the assessment, we're looking what really triggered the disease, what really caused that disease. And we find that uh, triggering factors and we remove that cause. And that's how you actually get to the root of the problem, not to treat the branches of the tree, but actually get to the root of that problem. So this is basically the old model of the medicine where we have differential diagnosis. Everything is based on chopping, chopping the body and naming you know, parts of the disease, parts of the body. Um, the new model is um, uh, connecting everything. Then we also, um, we used to name and blaming in, in traditional medicine. Um, in functional medicine, we look under a different angle and we try to connect things. Um, we're using testing as well in functional medicine, but not as much as in, in conventional medicine. And we're not suppressing the things, we're trying to find the causes and restore the normal balance. So what is healthy gut? Um, healthy gut is um, gut with proper nutrition, nutrition, like micronutrients. Somebody who chews food well have, uh, health, have healthy gut. It's normal pH. It's an impact epithelial barrier, um, balanced bacteria. The sick gut uh, presents a person with poor diet, medications, um, infections, different metals, ex expulsion, um, inadequate pH, or inadequate um, digestive juices. So the anatomy of the GI, you can see it starts in, in the stomach. Um, the food goes through, uh, through the esophagus that connects the mouth and the stomach. 
and um, uh, digestive juices kind of helps to process that food. Um, there are also enzymes as pepsin and lipase that helps to uh, digest the food. The lining of the stomach protects by, by, protects by a layer, so the acid doesn't eat its own stomach. Then we go, the food goes into small intestine. It's really large, more than it's 20 to 22 feet long. Um, and the surface area about the size of the tennis court. Yeah. <laughs> the food is completely digested, absorbed through the thousands of feel light. The light is the outer pouching of the inner lining of the intestine. And you can see that the light, it just helps to increase the area, the surface of the digestion. This is how my pretty light looks under a uh, microscope. <coughs> the, and then food goes into large intestine um, where waste is processed. Um, there is a little bit of water and uh, electrolyte absorption in this um, area as well. Um, and there are some bacteria working here. Uh, everything gets detoxified through the liver. Uh, big portal vein brings the blood from intestine to the liver. And the liver has a um, big role in storing vitamins, irons. Um, about 25% um, goes into the liver of the blood. The um, third principle of Leonardo da Vinci is continued refinement of the senses. So he thinks you can enjoy life when you truly refine your senses. Um, we're going to talk about gut defense mechanism, um, a little bit about mucin that produces a physical barrier. Um, uh, it prevents adhesion of foreign molecules. It's a layer in your gut that prevents adhesion of uh, foreign molecules. Uh, very important to have um, salivary enzymes like amylase, lysozyme, hydrochloric acid, and pepsin. So you have, you have to have your juices to digest the food. Very important to have proper function of pancreas. It's a gland that produces some enzymes. Um, also bile acids. So when we don't have right dietary choices, when we have a lot of stress infections, systemic disease, low pH, low acid, this all um, alters permeability of the intestine. And we're getting um, results as food allergy, malnutrition, dysbiosis, uh, toxicity. And it can all lead to systemic disease. This is how inner lining of the intestine looks like uh, when it's damaged. You get damage of the inner lining and the molecules are supposed to be inside, get on outside. So how is this all connected? Um, Dr. Dean um, already mentioned that. Everything connected. Um, this is the celiac disease antibody scheme, and you don't have to, I'm not going to bore you with all this um, terminology, but you can see that a lot of organs, oops, a lot of organs connected. You can see antibodies from thyroid and from uh, bones and collagen. Thank you. Uh, blood vessels, it's all connected, and um, all the out antibody produce um, um, as a result of exposure to the gluten. So what do we do? We do 5R program. This is an approach that we use in functional medicine. Um, it's a it's really a great approach. Uh, it's um, targeted, and the, uh, of course, it's the first thing that we do, and um, we individualize it. For a uh, five-hour program, so the principles first to remove. We have to remove what's causing the problem, either it's bacteria or allergenic food in the diet. Um, second thing is to replace. So you have to replace juices, uh, digestive juices and enzymes. Uh, third is inoculation. You introduce the healthy microflora, good bacteria, to the gut. Uh, Force principles to repair. The inner lining has been compromised, so you have to repair um, and reheal it. And, and last one is rebalance. Um, you know, tame your stress, um, manage it. So, first is remove. Uh, we, like I mentioned, we remove uh, the genetic microflora, bacteria, fungi, parasites, um, some allergic food that the person is sensitive to, environmental stress. 
And we go, um, we improve this by elimination diet. Sometimes we use some medication to remove those pathogen, pathogen uh,